Hey there, paperclip. Why are you all bent out of shape? I'm gonna need you just to hold it together for a second. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to remember a few things. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to remember the sine, the derivative with respect to x of the sine of u is the cosine of u times the derivative of the argument with respect to x. The derivative with respect to x of the cosine of u is gonna be equal to minus the sine of u times the derivative of the argument with respect to x. The derivative with respect to x of the tangent of u is gonna be the secant squared u times the derivative of the argument with respect to x. Yes, I know you got all bent out of shape when I said that you had to remember these things, right? And at some lesser academy, they may uh, let you have a note card or something like that. But over here at mathbyfives.com, we have standards. At mathbyfives.com, we have standards. Okay, now that we have our basic forms all rememberized, why don't we go through and apply a few? Okay, up in this example. Uh huh. Fine. Take a look at this. I want to take the derivative of the sine. Here, my u is going to be 2x. So then, du dx is going to be 2. Oh, okay. So now I can take the derivative of the form. I know that the derivative of the sine of u is going to be the cosine of u multiplied by du dx. Okay, so then y prime is going to be the cosine of my u 2x times the derivative of my u with respect to x 2. Oh, finish it up. <clears throat> the derivative is going to be 2 times the cosine of 2x. And then what? You a box and a flower. Oh, wait. On this next example, we see we got a product. I wish I had a rule to uh, take the derivative of a product. And if I did, what would I call it? The product rule. Yes. We know how that one goes. It's the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. Okay. Here we go. If we're taking a look at the derivative, it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. Okay. Clean it up. Clean it up. Ooh, we the derivative with respect to x of x, that's going to be 1. Fun. Times the cosine of x. Okay. Now, what was the derivative? What was the derivative of the cosine of x? Yes. That's going to be minus the sine of x times x. Okay, let me just clean this up and write it in a nicer order. Yeah, so then this is gonna be, this is gonna be the cosine of x minus x sine x, and then what? Oh, wait. Eat gas. This one's a toughie. Yeah, I see I have a quotient. I wish I had a rule to take the derivative of a quotient. If I did, what would I call it? Snoop Dogg's rule. No, the quotient rule. Yes, low d high minus high d low all over low low. Yeah, that last little part reminds me of Snoop. Okay, sure. So it's low, low, y prime. Yes, that's going to be low x squared d high. Minus high d low all 
I love the Lolo. X squared. Squared. Okay. Finish him. Yeah. So then, our derivative is going to be x squared. Mm hmm. The derivative of tangent. Oh, wait. Here we're going to see. Are you going to be? U is 2x. So then, du dx. Du du dx. The best I ever had. Du dx is going to be 2. Oh. Okay. Finish him. So I'm taking the derivative of the tangent. We know we have those, um, Memorized, uh-huh. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared x, whoops, secant squared u, and then du dx, or two, oh, and then minus the tangent two x times the derivative of x squared, which is that gonna be? That's gonna be a two x, Okay, now mind you, it's this function times the derivative of that function on the verb. That's x to the fourth, isn't it? Just one more step, clean it up, write it in a more nicer form. Um, y prime. Mm-hmm. My first derivative, also, dy dx, depending on whose notation you want to use. That's a big fat prime. Yeah, um, this is 2x squared secant squared 2x minus 2x tangent 2x all over wait for it x to the fourth now you can still clean that up a little bit sure you can pull an x out and reduce it so then your final form for your answer should look a little something like this um yeah why not 2x secant squared 2x minus 2 tangent 2x all over x to the third. And then what? A box. <laughs> and a big pedaled flat.